Hello, so this is day 22 of Bible in One Year. Our Bible texts for today are as follows, Exodus chapters 4 to 6 and then Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 to 36. Alright, so let's begin with a prayer. Our Father in Heaven, we thank you for another day, another chance for us to live our lives and to live our purpose and to serve you better and to know you better. Thank you, Lord, for all the blessings that you've given us, for giving us the strength, for allowing us to grow as Christians, for um, giving us all these uh, trials uh, to learn a lot of lessons. And thank you for the blessings, for providing our needs, for giving us the strength, the wisdom. Thank you for guiding us in all of our activities. And Lord, we also would like to ask for your forgiveness for all the mistakes we've made for our shortcomings, for um, the sins that we've committed. Uh, we pray, Lord, that we'd be able to correct them and to ensure that we're turning our backs on, uh, from sin. And uh, Lord, guide us in all our activities for today. Uh, anyway, just, you know, just wanted to make sure that we're doing well, we're doing it properly in accordance with your will for us. Um, uh, Lord, uh, enlighten us as we read your word for today and may we be able to apply this in our daily lives. Uh, may we be able to understand the message and may we be able to relate it to something that we've experienced or currently experiencing or we may be able to look back on it in the future when we uh, experience something that we related to it. And Lord, uh, pray, I pray for uh, continued guidance, uh, continued provision for us and our families. Uh, thank you for uh, providing us with uh, health, safety, and protection, as well as salvation of our lost loved ones. Uh, provision po and strength and wisdom for all your uh, children, for, all, for our pastors, our church workers church members and first missionaries and everyone who labors to win souls for you and um else uh, thank you lord for everything and may you bless the day ahead thank you this we pray in jesus name amen okay so exodus chapter 4 Exodus chapter 4, And Moses answered and said, But behold, they will not believe me, nor hearken unto my voice, for they will say, The Lord had not appeared unto thee. And the Lord said unto him, What is that in thine hand? And he said, A rod. And he said, Cast it on the ground. And he cast it on the ground, and it became a serpent. And Moses fled from before it. And the Lord said unto Moses, Put forth thine hand, and take it by the tail. And he put forth his hand, and caught it, and it, and it became a rod in his hand, that they may believe that the Lord God of their fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, had appeared unto thee. And the Lord said furthermore unto him, Put now thine hand into thy bosom, and he put his hand into his bosom, and when he took it out, behold, his hand was leprous as snow. And he said, Put thine hand into thy bosom again. And he put his hand into his bosom again, and plucked it out of his bosom. And behold, it was turned again as his other flesh. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe thee, neither hearken to the voice of the first sign, that they will believe the voice of the latter sign. And it shall come to pass, if they will not believe also these two signs, neither hearken unto thy voice, that thou shalt take of the water of the river, and pour it upon the dry land, and the water which thou takest out of the river shall become blood upon the dry land. And Moses said unto the Lord, O my Lord, I am not eloquent, neither heretofore, nor since thou hast spoken unto thy servant, but I am slow of speech, and of a slow tongue. And the Lord said unto him, Who had made man's mouth, or who had made it, make it the dumb, or deaf, or the seeing, or the blind? Have not I the Lord? Now therefore go, and I will be thy, with thy mouth, and teach thee what thou shalt say. 
And he said, O my Lord, send, I pray thee, by the hand of him who thou wilt send. And the anger of the Lord was kindled against Moses, and he said, Is not Aaron the Levite thy brother? I know that he can speak well, and also, behold, he cometh forth to meet thee. And when he seeth thee, he will be glad in his heart, and thou shalt speak unto him, and put words in his mouth, and I will be with thy mouth, and, thou, and will teach you what he shall do. And he shall be thy spokesman unto the people, and he shall be, even he shall be to thee instead of a mouth, and thou shalt be to him instead of God. And thou shalt take this rod in thine hand, wherewith thou shalt do signs. And Moses went and returned to Jethro his father-in-law, and said to him, Let me go, I pray thee, and return unto my brethren which are in Egypt, and see whether they be yet alive. And Jethro said to Moses, Go in peace. And the Lord said unto Moses in Midian, Go return into Egypt, for all the men are dead which sought thy life. And Moses took his wife and sons, and set them upon an ass, and he returned to the land of Egypt. And Moses took the rod of God in his hand. And the Lord said unto Moses, When thou goest to return into Egypt, see that thou do all those wonders before Pharaoh which I have put in thine hand, but I will harden his heart, that he shall not let the people go. And thou shalt say unto Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, Let my son go, that he may serve me, and if thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn. And it came to pass by the way in the inn, that the Lord met him, and sought to kill him. Then Zephora took a sharp stone, and cut off the foreskin of her son, and cast it at his feet, and said, Surely a bloody husband art thou to me. So he let him go, and then she said, A bloody husband thou art, because of the circumcision. And the Lord said to Aaron, Go into the wilderness to meet Moses. And he went, and, he, and met him in the mount of God, and kissed him. And Moses told Aaron all the words of the Lord who had sent him, and all the signs which he had commanded him. And Moses and Aaron went and gathered together all the elders of the children of Israel. And Aaron spake all the words which the Lord had spoken unto Moses, and did the signs in the sight of the people. And the people believed, and when they heard that the Lord had visited the children of Israel, and that he, and that he had looked upon their affliction, then they bowed their heads and worshipped. Chapter 5 And afterward Moses and Aaron went in and told Pharaoh, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Let my people go, that they may hold a feast unto me in the wilderness. And Pharaoh said, Who is the Lord, that I should obey his voice to let Israel go? I know not the Lord, neither, neither will I let Israel go. And they said, The God of the Hebrews had met with us. Let us go, we pray thee, three days' journey to the desert and sacrifice unto the Lord our God, lest he fall upon us with pestilence or with a sword. And the king of Egypt said unto them, Wherefore do ye, Moses and Aaron, let the people from their works get you unto, their, unto your burdens? And Pharaoh said, Behold, the people of the land now are many, and ye make them rest from their burdens. And Pharaoh commanded the same day the taskmasters of the people, and their officers, saying, you shall no more give the people straw to make a brick, to make brick, as heretofore, to let them, sorry, let them go and gather straw for themselves. And the tale of the bricks which they did heretofore, ye shall lay upon them. Ye shall not diminish aught thereof, for they be idle, therefore they cry, saying, Let us go and sacrifice to our God. Let their more work be laid upon the men, that they may labor therein, and let them not regard vain words. And the taskmasters of the people went out, and their officers, and they spake to the people, saying, Thus saith Pharaoh, I will not give you straw. Go ye, get ye straw where you can find it, yet not aught of your work shall be diminished. So the people were scattered abroad throughout all the land of Egypt to gather stubble instead of straw. And the taskmasters hasted them, saying, Fulfill your works, your daily task, as when there was straw. And the officers of the children of Israel, which Pharaoh's taskmasters had set over them, were beaten and demanded, Wherefore have you not fulfilled your task in making break both yesterday and today as heretofore? Then the officers of the children of Israel came and cried unto Pharaoh, saying, Wherefore dealest thou thus with thy servants? 
There is no straw given unto thy servants, and they say to us, Make brick, and behold, thy servants are beaten. But the fault is in thine own people. But he said, Ye are idle, ye are idle. Therefore ye say, Let us go and do sacrifice to the Lord. Go therefore now and work, for there shall no straw be given you. Yet shall ye deliver the tale of bricks. And the officers of the children of Israel did see that they were in evil case. After it was said, You shall not minish all from your bricks of your daily task. And they met Moses and Aaron who stood in the way as they came forth from Pharaoh. And they said unto them, The Lord look upon you and judge, because you have made our savor to be abhorred in the eyes of Pharaoh and in the eyes of his servants, to put a sword in their hand to slay us. And Moses returned unto the Lord and said, Lord, wherefore hast thou so evil entreated these people? Why is it that thou hast sent me? But since I came to Pharaoh to speak in thy name, he had done evil to this people, neither hast thou delivered thy people at all. Chapter 6 Then the Lord said unto Moses, Now shalt thou see what I will do to Pharaoh, for with a strong hand shall he let them go, and with a strong hand shall he drive them out of his land. And God spake unto Moses, and said unto him, I am the Lord. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob, by the name of God Almighty. But by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. And I have also established my covenant with them, to give them the land of Canaan, the land of their pilgrimage, wherein they were strangers. And I have also heard the groaning of the children of Israel, whom the Egyptians keep in bondage. And I have remembered my covenant. Wherefore say unto the children of Israel, I am the Lord, and I will bring you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will reach you out of their bondage, and I will redeem you with a stretched out arm, and with great judge judgments. And I will take you to me for a people, and I will be to you a God. And ye shall know that I am the Lord your God, which bringeth you out from under the burdens of the Egyptians. And I will bring you unto the land concerning the which I did swear to give it to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, and I will give it to you for an, inher for an heritage. I am the Lord. And Moses spake so unto the children of Israel, but they hearkened not unto Moses for anguish of spirit and for cruel bondage. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Go in, speak unto Pharaoh king of Egypt, that he let the children of Israel go out of his land. And Moses spake before the Lord, saying, Behold, the children of Israel have not hearkened unto me. How then shall Pharaoh hear me, who am of uncircumcised lips? And the Lord spake unto Moses and unto Aaron, and gave them a charge unto the children of Israel, and unto Pharaoh king of Egypt, to bring the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. These be the heads of their fathers' houses, the sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hannah and Palo. Ezra and Carmen, these were the families of Reuben, and the sons of Simeon, Jemuel and Jamin, and Ohad and Jachin, and Zuhar and Shaul, the son of the Canaanitish women, these are the families of Simeon, and these are the names of the sons of Levi according to their generations, Gershon and Kohat and Merari, and the years of the life of Levi were in 130 and seven years. The sons of Gershon, Libni, and Shimei, according to their families, and the sons of Gohat, Amran, and Ezar, and Hebron, and Uziel. And the years of the life of Gohat were 130 and three years. And the sons of Merari, Mahali, and Mushi, these are the families of Levi, according to their generations. And Amram took him, Jochebed, his, his father's sister, to wife, and she bare him Aaron and Moses, and the years of the life of Amram were an hundred and thirty and seven years. And the sons of Isar, Korah, and Naphag, and Zikri, and the sons of Oziel, Mishael, Elzaphon, and Elzaphon, and Zitri. And Aaron took him Elisheba, daughter of Aminadab, sister of Nashon, to wife, and she bare him Nadab, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ethamar. And the sons of Korah, Asir, and Elkanah, and Abiasap, these are the families of the Korites. And Eliasar Aaron's son took him one of the daughters of Putuel, Putiel, to wife, and she bare him Phinehas. These are the heads of the fathers of the, of the Levites according to their families. 
These are that Aaron and Moses, to whom the Lord said, Bring out the children of Israel from the land of Egypt according to their armies. These are they which spake to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, to bring out the children of Israel from Egypt. These are that Moses and Aaron. And it came to pass on the day when the Lord spake unto Moses in the land of Egypt, that the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, I am the Lord. Speak thou unto Pharaoh, king of Egypt, all that I say unto thee. And Moses said before the Lord, Behold, I am of uncircumcised lips, and how shall Pharaoh hearken unto me? Okay, so that's Exodus chapters 4 to 6. Let's read Matthew chapter 14, verses 22 to 36. Matthew 14, verse 22. And straightway Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side, while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out, of, out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, Boisterous, he was afraid, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him, and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Gennesaret, and when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about, and brought unto him all that were deceased, and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment, and as many as touched were made perfectly whole. Okay, so that's Matthew chapter 14 verses 22 to 36. So recap of what we've read, and a bit of reflection, if any. So in Exodus, um, we see Moses uh, trying to, you know, decline God's uh, command. Uh, but then, you know, uh, he's making excuses, he's slow of speech, and you know, uh, something along those lines. And then, you know, God, in a way, became angry with him. And then he suggested Aaron, who's uh, probably eloquent. Okay, and so it became Moses, and then Aaron assisted him. And then they talked to Pharaoh according to God's commands, God's orders. So they showed the rod, and then they showed the uh, withered hand, and then the water from the river turned to blood. Okay, but and then they requested to go to the wilderness to pray to God to sac to do sacrifice, but uh, Pharaoh did not uh, allow them to go. He thinks that they're just being idle. So what they did is they uh, multiplied their task or their burden for the day. Instead of giving them the straws to make bricks, uh, they did not give them straws. They have to find the straws themselves or whatever they can use to make bricks. And so uh, the people, in a way, they also uh, got angry to, towards Aaron and Moses because, you know, before their job is quite good, but now it became uh, burdensome or harder. Okay, so they were resentful of uh, Moses and Darren a little. Okay, and then God uh, told 
Moses and Aaron to speak with Pharaoh again. And then he explained that Pharaoh would not, you know, would not hearken unto them, would not listen. And then after that, God would do his, uh, you know, miracles. He would show his uh, abilities, his greatness, what he's capable of, so that this Pharaoh would uh, recognize their God. Because, you know, uh, their Egyptians, they do not recognize the God of Abraham, of Isaac. Of Jacob okay so probably it's you know um, in accordance with God's plan for the Egyptians to know how mighty uh, the God of Israel is okay and then in Matthew uh, 14 we see uh, after healing the sick teaching and all that um, God went to a mountain to pray alone I think I'm not sure if there's someone with him. And then his disciples uh, boarded a ship so that they would go to the other side of the sea. But uh, they don't have Jesus with him. Jesus is still praying in the mountain. And then when Jesus came down, and he, he probably learned that his disciples were in on a ship. So he walked on the water to go to them. And then when they saw him, and they thought it's a ghost and or a spirit and then he told them that it's him it's jesus and then um i think the sea wasn't calm as well because you know later on peter was distracted by the waves and the wind okay so of all the disciples in the ship of all the apostles only peter asked jesus if you know he can Come down, come to him, and also be able to walk on water. Okay, he did walk on water, but then he was distracted by the surroundings, the winds, the waves. He feared in his heart, and then he started to sink. And then, of course, uh, he asked Jesus to save him. Lord, save me! I uh, said it that way, and so Jesus did save him, and asked, uh, oh, "Oh, thou of little faith, why did you, you know, doubt?" In your heart so um bit of reflection for non-believers yet in a way um there would be people who'd either believe that there is someone there's a guy out there who's allowing things to happen and then there are people who'd rather believe that you know it's all just a coincidence uh it's only luck or something else and they would not attribute it to god but uh, you know, uh, it's a faith is a belief. Uh, you know, a uh, faith believing without seeing. Okay, so basically, our faith is only based on the Bible and what's being said on the Bible. We we have we didn't see all these things, but we believe them to be true because they are in the Bible, and we have John one one. Okay, so um, for I think for those people who would like to believe, you know, debate the so-called baby Christians, uh, what strengthens a Christian's faith, the baby Christians? I think it would be experiencing uh, God's greatness, and you know, in everything they do, they would see God's hands. And the things that are happening in their lives and there's a problem God's there to help them they, you know they're almost accidents God saves them if they have need God would provide okay in a way I believe most Christians uh, their faith are strengthened by seeing God's hand in everything that happens to them every day every moment so it's a matter as well of you know aside from believing would be recognizing the presence of the lord um every day every moment you know technically yes as a believer you believe that the god god you believe that god is with you all the time and that when things happen they happen for a reason and maybe there's 
a lesson God wants you to learn or maybe God is telling you to do something in accordance with his commandments or things like that okay all right so that's just just a bit of you know thoughts that came to me while reading today and so that's it for now i guess so thank you for uh compact company what do you call it uh, thank you for being with me as we read the bible in one year again this is day 22 and may we all have a blessed day and